I'm going to convert this and bring it into Second Life. It's an FBX that I downloaded, so import FBX. First thing I'm going to do here is make a rest pose, which is a reference frame here. You can see that the first frame seems to be covered up by an animation key. So in pose mode A, select all the bones. Then here, A to select all the keys, and I'm going to move them over to frame 2 and leave frame 1 empty. Keep my timeline cursor there, and in this window, Alt-R, Alt-G, and set location rotation. Now our animation starts on frame 2. Presumably it's a walk cycle, so it should work in a loop. Now I need to map my bones. Visual Snap Mapper. Action. I'm going to hide the mesh. Actually, let's bring that back and see what we need here. I'm going to put that forward. Wrong one. Select that rig in front. That looks like an elbow. That looks like a wrist. Looks like we have simple bones here. This one will not be needed. Ignore that. Okay. So we have from toe one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to map those. So I'll click that. That's the end bone that actually works. And I count down one, two, three, four. Select that one. I'm going to do this with the chain. So I'll select a chain of four and fill it. Now the other way to do this is to just map them individually. Map these bones. Map these bones. But when you're working with fingers, you can save a lot of time by using the chain. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four. And I will count from the shoulder. One, two, three, four. Now you don't have to click all these, but I'm just counting. And it happens to be a chain of four as well, so have these bones. Select the end bone for the chain. And fill. Now for the spine, it looks like there's too many bones in here, so I'm going to start with the pelvis. And I may have to skip a bone. Let's see which one is best to skip. This one looks like it's best to skip. So I'm going to skip that bone. I'll map this. And I'm, I'm skipping a bone because I can already see that there's too many bones in the spine. Presumably this is the neck. And that's the neck here. And then finally the head. Now this is done. The map will be saved, so if I reset the stage, it's still on the rig. And I'm going to save this to its original folder, I think. Yeah. I'll save it right here. Our FBX is under source, so I'm going to save it in the main folder here. Is it called robot walking? Sure.
Now it's ready for export. We're going to convert this rig. Character converter, make sure make copy is on. It will make a copy of the entire set. Click convert and mesh export. It makes a copy of it and selects everything in the copy. Once it's done exporting, we can just delete that copy and we're ready to export the animation associated with it. In order to do that, go into Character Tools, Retarget Motion. Now I'm going to use Glue for this. If you're using the animation on a custom avatar, you wouldn't use Glue. If you're using the animation on an in-world avatar, you wouldn't use glue, but this is a custom avatar. So let's action this. It will create the proxy rig where we export from. Go to animation, and the start frame will be one. That's our reference frame. But the loop is going to be from frame two. And then I'll give it a higher priority and export this. Now once that stops being read, it's done. I'll go back to character tools and I'll reset the stage and we're ready to upload. Now we want to upload with joint positions. I think this is all one piece, so it's probably just one texture. I'm going to make an anchor here because skin mesh, you can't click on it, and I'm going to put a script in here. It's my animesh script, and I'll just drop this right on top of the box. Shift click to select the root and link it. And I'll upload the animation. Now I need to turn this to Animesh. Tick that. And I'm going to make this box a little transparent. Um, edit linked here, so I can see what's going on. I'll give it a color. Once the animation starts, it might reposition the avatar, so we'll lift that up a little bit. There you have it. Let's go get some of the textures. Uh, bulk. I'll go into my textures. I've already dropped them in here. We're about walking. Uh, base color, we need that. Uh, metallic might work. And we do need the AO, uh, the um, normal map. When I looked at the normal map, it didn't have much detail on it, so it may not even show anything. But we'll use it anyway. And we're going to do edit linked and select just this. And I'll drop my textures in. Now we default to diffuse, so base color. And then the bumpy is the normal map. 
and the specular will be did I upload them all mixed ale I think I did didn't mean to do that all right so that's it it's all set